Good morning! How your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin live doing? And you have it too. How y'all living, fam? It is Tuesday up in this motherfucker. It is April motherfucking first, which means it is officially my birth day month, not birth. Birth with an F as in Frank, my niggas. How y'all living on this Aries April first day? Okay, look. I'm ecstatic. It is my birthday month. Look, April's the best month of the year. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, this is a national holiday of just the whole month, okay? So, anyway, your girl's ecstatic. It's finally April 1st. It's time to get my kick on, kick it on, okay? For the B day. And uh, yeah, it's early as fuck in the morning, as you can probably tell by the overcast on my face and my demeanor, obviously. Just got the um, hubby out to work. Thank God he had the other car to take to his job because um, there were no technicians available to look at his car last night when we took it in. Because it was, of course, after five when we took it in. So um, they're going to be looking at his car today and seeing what's going on with it. Thank God he had the second car that we had just gotten fixed um, to kind of fall back on. And um, it's, it's, you know, the reason why he even still has that car is because it's got sentimental value. His father's actually who gave him that car years ago. So, um you know, it's it's going to be here forever. So um, thankfully, it still works and functions, and we've been maintaining it, thank God. Um, but yeah, that's what he took to work today. And uh, yeah, anyway, last night we fell asleep as soon as we ate dinner. And that's why the there was an abrupt stop on the vlog. Like, we didn't have a chance to say goodnight to y'all like we normally do. Um, we fell asleep probably about 9.30, uh, ate dinner, sat here, watched some TV, did a little shooting of shit, and like cuddled up on the couch and just fell, fell asleep on each other like literally and fell asleep at 9 30 didn't get up from the couch until about 3 30 or so in the morning to finally go to bed but we got some great sleep and as soon as we hit the bed we were out again so um it was nice it was nice i love when we fall asleep on the couch naturally like that too and especially when we're all cuddled up it's nice so anyway that was last night. That's why we had the abrupt stop of the vlog. I'm about to make me some breakfast. I think I'm going to have yogurt, granola, and strawberries because I don't want the strawberries to go bad. So that's probably what I'm going to have for my first meal of the day. Um, I should also let you guys know that I have pretty much, I'm pretty sure I pretty much decided what I'm going to do with this kid situation and the dogs. While I get all this shit out, I'm going to go ahead and fill y'all in. Um, after I told y'all that you know, people were are at were ringing their doorbell, banging on the door, and all that shit. We had another set of a couple more sets of kids come to our house yesterday. So it wasn't just that first set; it was another couple. It's a weekday, you know. Um, number one, and number two, there's absolutely no reason that every single day I should have three, four, five, six sets of kids separately coming to my house. I just, I don't feel that's. I think that's overkill. You know, I think we're nice, but I think we're being way too nice. Like saying, hey, oh yeah, go ahead and play with the kids. Or, you know, they're like, okay, we'll see you tomorrow. And we're like, okay. Like, I, I think we're being way too nice. And I have to wonder what the fuck the parents are thinking and what they're doing by even allowing their kids to just keep coming over and ringing our doorbell like they do. Because for me, if I was in their position, I think I would be like, you know what, guys, you guys went over there two days in a row. How about you guys give them a second? Like, just, you know, take a couple days, maybe go see them on the weekend. You know, do you guys have homework, nigga? Like, what the fuck do y'all do? And I'm thinking, because they're just happy that the kids are not in their hair, they're like, fuck it, have fun, kids, peace. You know what I mean? I already take care of my dogs. I already walk them, I play with them outside all the time. I just don't shoot it because it's in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't see a shoot in my neighborhood very much because of that fact. But I do what I'm supposed to do with my dogs. My dogs get played with, they get, you know, walked, they get, you know, fed, they get taken to take dumps and shits. I don't need assistance with that right now. So us letting the kids play with the dogs is a courtesy, you know? But it's to the point now because there's so many different sets of separate friends in this neighborhood that each set of friends are coming by to play with the dogs on different occasions because they're not all playing together. So there's like four or five different sets of kids that come over every single day. This ain't a motherfucking daycare. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have kids coming in and out of my house. You know, people be like, oh, yo, you're so overprotective, Sandy. Well, shit. And my dog's to be overprotective of. I'm sorry. So, you know, and at this point, the kids are taking advantage. And I feel like these parents that are allowing their kids to just come over here and do whatever the fuck they want are on some bullshit, too. You know, I think, you know, these, these you know, I feel like they're, the, the parents need to start being like, you know what, hold up. 
So I don't want to have that conversation with the parents, but what I'm going to do and what I've decided to do is now to say, um, the dogs are only available on Sundays or the dogs are only available on Saturdays and that's it. If they want to come and hang out with the dogs, they have to come over at a specified time and they come over for a specified time and that's it. Like, I don't need that, that much assistance with my dogs and what it does too is when they've played with my dogs and keep coming and keep coming and keep coming and I have to keep letting the dogs out because it's not just me that lets the dogs out, it's Juice that lets the dogs out. So he's letting them come over and he takes them from the crate again. but. When they come out the crate, they have to go straight to the bathroom. These kids don't do that, so the, it's fucking up our potty training also. And then when we bring them back in, then, they, you know, they'll have an accident on the floor. And I'm like, the fuck? You know, I just, it's too much for me. So, um, we're just being too nice, you know, and I just feel like we have to set a limit. Anyway, so that's the new rules. And I know y'all probably, you know, have heard this a million times over as far as the story is concerned but you know this is my life this is my everyday vlog this is my daily vlog this is what I vlog which is my daily life and this is really what's happening in my real life so sorry for the rant but you know <laughs> I wanted to update you guys on the situation because I know on that you know these last couple days videos people were like you know guys you got you know let them play with the kids and you're being so um overprotective and I'm like I don't think anybody understands this is not normal. People don't just let kids come to their house. This, this is not a daycare. This is not a playhouse. This is my home, you know, my residence. You know, I would like to have that time to relax. Woosa. My dogs, I would like to keep on a schedule, you know, because they need to be, because they're still being potty trained. So I don't think that's unreasonable for me to be kind of annoyed with the situation. Anyway, I will see y'all in a bit. What's good with it? Heading to the gym as per usual, my niggas. Look. Y'all ever heard the song Fear by Drake? I love it. I love it. It's kind of old, but I rock the fuck out of it every time I have the chance. I love this song. Anyway, look, I am excited because the weekend starts celebration week. It is Bambi's birthday coming up here in the next few days. So the first celebration of the week or month is going to be Bambi's birthday. So we're going to go out for Bambi's birthday this weekend. Fashion Forward Fridays are coming back. I, you guys know I shoot Fashion Forward Fridays when I have something to shoot if that makes sense I don't shop a whole hell of a lot and um, you know that's why you don't see a haul every other week and that kind of shit you know I'm pretty frugal when it comes to certain things and so when I find some good deals I love sharing them with you guys but for the most part you know when I get dressed or dress up or wear something that is shootable that's when you see a fashion forward Friday so I apologize they haven't been on the channel in a while but they are coming back for sure because I'm definitely gonna shoot the outfits that I wear to whatever we do this month um, especially my birthday and of course um, Bam's birthday as well I have no fucking clue what we're doing for my birthday by the way no clue none whatsoever. fucking ever juice has refused to allow me to be any part of the planning process for my birthday and so I have no idea and what worries me because I know that he is trying to you know put it together and get it all done what worries me is that um, I I just feel like my girl one of my girls is going to ruin it for me and that would be Bam because Bam almost ruined his Valentine's Day gift to me um, totally almost completely ruined it and uh, because she opened her mouth so I had to let him know like look if you're surprising me with anything related to my birthday let her know she can't text me call me nothing about shit about my birthday because she'll accidentally say some shit and sometimes I'm just like girl you know but Valentine's Day she almost ruined the surprise so I really had to tell him that like if you're gonna do anything and you don't want me to know just tell Bam she has to be careful because she has a mouth you know what I mean so anyway dealing with a little bit of traffic on the road and because uh, one of the lanes are closed or were closed and so everyone's driving extra slow so gonna probably be a couple minutes late because one lane is closed uh, a little further up and the one lane was closed a little further back so I am gingerly driving on this road to get to the gym but yeah y'all um, gonna get my workout on I think we're doing cardio cardio I think we're gonna hit bags and I wanted to do some ab work and I told her biceps um, and that's it because I don't know what we're gonna do for P90X next and we're gonna still have to figure out what we're gonna do with the TV and everything my cameras out look everything is just like going kaputs but I guess you know wear and tear that's what happens we just got to deal with everything individually one by one you know what I mean Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and t head to this gym. I should be there in about two seconds, actually. I'm right up the street, and I'll see y'all at the gym. Um.
16, I'm filming you. 16. This is my video. <laughs> 16. It's real. <laughs> 17. Is that a game? 18. <laughs> 19. 20. Oh my God. 21. 22. Come on. 23. <laughs> 24. Come on. You're so close. Don't stop now. Come on. 24. 25. 26. Yep. And then hook. Hook. And then kick. Kick. Kick with your left first. And then, yeah, left. And then right, and bring the right back, and then you go. There you go. You want to do the right? If, would it, you know what? Do what feels comfortable. I don't want to ruin your flow. Good. Let him go. Burn him out. Go, go, go. Keep that form. Keep breathing. Turn him over. Turn him over. Good, good, good. Come on, fast and light, fast and light. 15 seconds, you got it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy. It's good to be alive, y'all. What's going on? What's good? All that good stuff going on. Look what I got here. I got the dogs wrapping me up. Okay, okay. All right. All right. Yeah, I got the dogs wrapping me up. I just took them outside for a little nighttime potty session. So, uh, yeah, these guys are, and these guys are well fed and pooped and trained. Thank God. Yeah, uh, if I can get this, hey, I, I got to the crib today. I don't know if the wife had told y'all this or not, but she put this motherfucking sign on the door. <laughs> Let me show this to y'all just in case y'all hadn't seen it yet. Come on, guys. But, uh, check it out. <laughs> Look at that. I think I'm going to change that PM to AM right there. But it says the dogs are not available to play until Sunday at 4 PM. Thanks. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Now, Now, I don't know what y'all thinking, but <laughs> a couple things came to my mind when I saw that damn sign when I got home. So first of all, you know, these are some kids we're dealing with here. These ain't no uh, grown adults. You know, we don't know if these kids can read or not. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's the first thing. Uh, second thing, I don't know if y'all know this, but Santa can't write for shit. So, not only would them kids not probably be able to read the sign, but they probably won't even be able to understand what the fuck it says. Because she can't, you know, for some reason she can't write. You know, her cursive look like print and her print looks nothing like cursive. So, you know, those are the first two things that came to mind. They ain't going to be able to read the sign, one. And then two, your, your handwriting is so fucked up, they ain't going to be able to make out every word. They probably won't even be able to read the word 4 p.m. So I'm gonna change that to 4 a.m. and uh, our neighbors said they did. Yeah, our neighbors are grown ass women, so. so our neighbors said that they, they uh, people came over and saw the sign. All oh, them kids couldn't read your handwriting that scribble they scratch. Did, they did. Oh, they get did, the hell out of here. Did. Look, desperate times uh, call for desperate measures. Get the hell. Hey, watch them dogs over there. Hey, watch them dogs. Make sure they don't be uh, uh finishing up. They should have finished up outside. You better, you better come. Check it out, y'all. We got a. Uh, yeah, we got some dinner was good tonight. I tell you that. I got some potatoes and some some meat and spinach and shit. I'm gonna box some of that shit up for lunch tomorrow, cause you know I know I'm gonna be hungry and shit. So I'm just eat this for lunch and dinner tomorrow, and I'll be straight. But anyway, yeah, came home to that, and uh, you know it's just it's like we we at war with some kids now. Or something, you know, we <laughs> kids are fighting over the dogs. Sandy's posting up signs, the dogs just having a good old time in between it all. You know, I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I know she told y'all about the little kid that came over and just, just uh, she she opened the door and shit, and that little kid say, "I want Gizmo." That's all he said. <laughs> all he said. Didn't say, "Hey, Miss, you know, hey, Sandy, how you doing? Uh, are the dogs available?" The little kid just said, 
I want Gizmo. That's it. <laughs> I can imagine her reaction when she saw that. I can only imagine. Imagine. And these, what they doing? What they over there doing? Huh? Hey, make sure they ain't doing. Ain't. Yeah, don't turn around. You know what? There's too much crap. Right yeah, let me uh. Yeah, let me go take care of these dogs. Put them up it's for a minute. Cause it's, it's getting kind of late. My and her brother didn't eat. So did the dogs. And now, uh, yeah, but yeah. Hey, y'all, this ain't over yet. We just getting started with the kids. It's the springtime just started. Summer's still around the corner. We got a long ways to go, so we got to figure this shit out. Hey, hey, I'm going to get a real sign made. I'm See, this some bullshit. This is about getting a real sign made. How about you kiss my motherfucking nut? Okay. Man. And I'm about, I'm gonna get we, we, we battling with some kids I'm, over some I'm, dogs. I'm, I'm, Come on. I'm gonna put a neon Come on, man. I'm trying to figure out, out who's at him on too. So. <laughs> Long way to go, y'all. Summer's around the corner. Whatever. We're gonna these, that shit in the mud. These little guys up before the little kid come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right.